to the Hawks who busy. were quite busy. Probably the yeah one of the busier ones. So obviously uh, we spoke about before um, Gidman coming in, massive D'Ambrosio, Chol, uh, and Gunston returning, and then key out uh, Tyler Brockman, which is a big one, Brandon Ryan and uh, Kajiski as well. Yeah, so so six of those seven guys were done on deadline day. It was a busy day for Mark McKenzie. <laughs> Um, you know, they got the Ginevan done, Ginevan stuff done quite early, um, yep. which was a stellar effort just given the turnaround. Yeah, it happened um, really quickly, yeah, as it was announced. They've, yeah, they've been linked to him kind of for a fair bit this year, just yeah. given you know, if there was some unrest and he wasn't in the best 22 at times. So, um, yeah, and we've but, all seen the photos of him as a little kid, yeah, uh, yeah, that, that works too. I think yeah, you know, clubs do have to kind of keep track of you know, if there are players out there that support your club, you got to you want to know who, who they are. Mm -hmm. um, whether that played a, a big part in this or not uh, remains to be seen. But now, great get for them after losing Brockman. They gave up a future second. They did that last year for someone like Josh Weddle, and it's paid off. So that they'll they'll be very happy with bringing him in. And as mentioned earlier, he could be kicking forty plus goals next year if he's getting a, a good look at it. And then again, one of those clubs that can really be pushing for a, a top eight return. Mm -hmm. uh, Massimo D'Ambrosio is a, is a great little um, you know addition. Mm -hmm. Certainly a good role player, versatile. Uh, utility player can play off half back, nice left foot, you know, play up the wing, can hit the scoreboard. So it'll be interesting to see. You know, he's probably not a best 22 player for them, but um, I, I think he can certainly press his case to be. Uh, Marbio Cho will, will partner with with Mitch Lewis and then Jack Gunston's in there as well. So what that means for Fergus Green is going to be interesting. Like they lose Kajitski and they lose Brandon Ryan, but they get Gunston and Cho and you know, Gunston's 31, 32 years of age. So, you know, does Fergus Green get a new deal? I liked, I'd like to hope so. I, I do like Fergus Green. Um, probably just didn't get the have the season he had hoped for in his return. Um, so and look, it was yeah very busy. You know they lose Brockman, probably wanted to keep him, but they get Ginevan, that's a tick. Um, they lose Ryan, but they got Gunston. I, I don't really see that as a win for them, but um, it was just business that that had to be done. Chol's in though, and they, that was kind of a part of a deal that you know they I think what worked in with Brisbane for the Ryan deal. So. Um, they, they kind of did okay out of that. And then Kajitski, they got a top 50 pick for, which I think is a pretty decent return. So they'll be happy. Added some nice pieces. Probably like not, like I don't think Chol's the player that they would really want, but they do need some mm -hmm. support for Mitch Lewis. Yeah. Um, like next year's going to be interesting. There's some good key forwards up for grabs and and I think they'll have a fair bit of coin saved for, for some of those targets. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like given this trade period, I, now I'm sort of expecting them to push further next year than I probably yeah. was beforehand. Um, yeah, probably middle six, middle six, uh, middle six. next year, I reckon.